Okay, well, it's Christmas, you guys, and this, because due to a terrible fiscal year, Sharita did not receive a holiday bonus. So, our Christmas is already starting off shitty. Um, One of our co-workers asked us to come adopt a cat. We can't have a cat in the asylum. Can't do that. But, one good thing is that since she got promoted a couple of days ago, we've been saving up her free day. So, we're going to make today her free day. And because today's her free day and it's Christmas, we're going to throw a Christmas party. Now, normally, one of our rules is that we don't have people from outside come to our parties because then they would know for sure we're crazy. But today, we can break the rules. So, today, I'm going to invite over our co-workers for a Christmas party. So, I'm really excited about that. But before I even do that, I want to go to the fair that's in the middle of town. So, I'm going to let her wake up early. We're going to go to the fair. Yeah, we're going. And I don't think we're ever going to beat this chick in a fight. But uh, we can we can dream of it. But we're going to go to that fair. We're going to go now. It's going to be fun. We're going to go super early in the morning so we can have this party in the afternoon. And I know it's not open for another couple hours. That ain't stopping me. We are going. And I'm not bringing none of the crazy people with me. I don't like any of them. They all been super rude to me. That one stole my kicky ball and then beat me up. She's awful. It's a blizzard, too. It's like a real bad storm tonight. But that's okay. Look, I just ready to go have some fun. And you're gonna drive all slow now. Okay. Fast forward this shit. Okay, here we are. Here we go again. Chapter 2. I'm, I'm gonna get my face painted. With something that would be like in the holiday spirit. Like snowflakes. There we go. And now I'm going to take pictures with just myself because I don't have a family. Because they locked me up. You know how that goes. Don't know who's calling. Oh, I should have invited my co-workers. But I want them to be well rested. Um, just in case, you know, they do want to come to my Christmas party and then be like, no, too tired to go. Let's, uh, let's snowboard on here. I've never snowboarded. It's that color. Oh, that's creepy. No, I don't like that. Uh, just go back to regular white color and let it be bright. Hey, I want to get up there. I want the snowboard. Hey, lady, get off of there. It was my turn. Pause. You jerk. I'm going to heckle her. Because it was our turn. She's been on there. Ashley's birthday. I don't care about Ashley or Trisha. I definitely don't like Trisha. Trisha's the one who stole my kicky ball. Ha ha, I'm glad you failed. I'm glad you failed. Now I get to snowboard. Are you kidding me? She's hogging it. It's not fair. Rude introduction. I hope she breaks something. Break something good, too. Break like a whole femur. Because you are so freaking rude. I don't want to introduce myself to you. I just want to get up here so I can play. Been trying to snowboard since the beginning of the morning, and you kept taking that from me. Your asshole. Now we can have some fun. There we go. We want to do some tricks, huh? Okay. Let's try and do some tricks. How do you do tricks? We got to learn some, right? I guess. Okay, that was something. So we did two tricks. We're first timers and we're doing pretty good. Was that a trick too? Yeah. One more. There we go. Ten tricks? Let's see if we can do it. We haven't fell yet. I guess we have no fear because we're crazy. Come on, let's do a couple more so we can get these points. Because I'm excited now. What is that? Sounds like magical gnomes. <laughs> I don't know. There we go. She is not failing at this. At oh, shoot. Okay, I spoke too soon. My bad. I, I was talking all. I was like, she's doing so well. And then she fell. She busted her butt. But we had so much fun. And we got tickets for that. Okay. See, I want to do everything. I can't wait till more people show up. The place don't officially open for like another half an hour, though. There we go. Let's go round two. We did good the first time. We did not fall until I started, like, boosting her. Like, oh, she's not crazy. She's totally sane. That's why she can handle this without fear. You know? <laughs> I'm so proud of her. She's so good at this. You know? Oh, shoot. Damn. You know what it is, too, though? Um, she's athletic, so this should come naturally to her. She got to do five more tricks, though. I refuse to let her get out of here without doing five more tricks. I'm just going to fast forward it. Now she's going to keep failing. Don't you do this to me. Don't you keep failing, honey. There we go. You be a winner. We're not doing 20. That's too many tricks. Let's stop now. You know what? 
the uh, food, the merchant stand's not open yet? But what about food? Oh, there we go. Food stands are opening soon. Perfect, because we're starting to get hungry, okay? I need a hot chocolate stat, bitch. Let me get a hot chocolate. He's laughing all evil. I'm still going to buy some food from you. Everybody who works, like, is a vampire right now. Okay. That whole family full of vampires, but they supposed to be the richest people in town in that big old house. So let's see. Um, I want something, like, fitting for the season. Not pie, though. Clam chowder? I mean, I guess that's Christmassy. And it's food. She needs to eat. She needs a solid meal. Clam chowder, though, of all the soups. Like, I like a nice tomato soup. That's good. He's laughing. Did you spit in my food? I'll fight you. I'll fight anybody. I'm very athletic. And I don't care that you're a vampire. I'll fight you too. You're not even a vampire I love or anything like that. You're just a jackass. She ate that clam chowder though. I hope there was no spit because he was laughing. Like he put some vampire venom in there. I'm not going to redeem my tickets yet either because um, we're not done playing. So I want to be rude to him. And I want to see if I can fight him because I'm mad that he laughed at me like that. Like, you either laugh at me because you did something to my food or you laugh because you know I'm crazy. I'm going to yell at him. How dare you laugh at me? I'm a customer and you're a lonely merchant. He means spirited. I knew it. I knew he was not a nice person. I knew it. Let's slap him up real good. Yeah, uh-huh. Fight. Fight, 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 fight. fight. These dudes be jumping you. Like, I have the best athletic skills. I should be jumping people. You got hit first. Wow, we really lost that fight. Damn, you know what? It just occurred to me why she keeps losing fights, even though her stuff is better than everybody else's. She's a loser. That's why she's not winning. She's an unlucky person, so she's automatically not winning. What else can we do? Can we play one of these for fun? Let's do Wacka... A werewolf. I guess werewolf is better in the snow time. I don't know. She gotta go to the bathroom and take a shower, though. But we playing this crane game. Did she win anything with the crane game? No, she didn't. So let's do something with this whack a werewolf. I'm still surprised she's just so good at the snowboarding. And now that I know she's a loser, no wonder she probably not gonna do very well at these games. What the heck? Oh, this old lady was, was snowboarding with a cane? Okay. Fast forward this. She can probably be at it for a minute. We got these tickets. We could just sell them for straight up cash. Or with that um 20 tickets, we might be able to buy something worth more than $100. So let's see if we can redeem something. Then we might head on back home to have that party. Still got to go to the bathroom and take a shower, however. Because it is storming out here anyway. And she's cold. We got to warm her back up then. We don't want her turning blue. And she's tired? No. Uh, is he burning in the sun? Ha ha, burn in the sun. Die, bitch. That bear ain't no hundred worth no hundred. That mistletoe barely worth anything. Oh, but mistletoe is so romantic, though. And so nice at a holiday party. No, we won't We won't waste it. We, uh, we're not going to redeem our tickets. We're going to go home and we'll just sell it for a hundred bucks. And we'll sell a lounging chair while we at it. We need the cash anyhow. Let's just get him back home and try and have this... He's still laughing at us. I'm so mad that I'm fighting people who have been truly horrible to me. And they keep winning just because they're luckier than we are. Ugh, back here again. And there's bills. Perfect. No, no, I'm, I'm not salty about it at all. I'm thrilled that there's a bill here. Let's make some peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. And then we'll throw this on party. And let's let the bathroom and the shower is clear. We might have to get a coffee maker, honestly. She might need to take a nap, too. Oh, you making... What you making? Wait, wasn't that what I was making? I don't know. I don't know what that is. Now it's just clean up that I can't cook it. I don't know. Anyway, I made sandwiches, because I'm a nice guy. Well, I'll put them up in the fridge. What's happening upstairs? It's so weird. Gift giving party. Um, casual, I guess. Oh, let's do formal, actually. We never have a chance to be fancy and we'll invite all our coworkers and all these regular folk who we don't give a damn about. They can come too. Cannot wait to have a party. We haven't had a party since we were deemed insane, so this is gonna be fun. But I need to go to the bathroom, freshen up for my guests. Oh my goodness, there's our gift pal. Um, 
I'm not going to do it near a couch because then people will fight over the couch. I'm going to do it right there where it's at. Now let's get all cleaned up before everyone gets here. Are you walking on water so you're Jesus now? Sir, you're not allowed to do that. You're, de you're defying the laws of physics and gravity. You better stop. Oh, everyone's here and he's still floating on water. Okay. Okay, people are starting to show up to the party. Um, let me do friendly introductions because some of these people I don't know. Look, she changed her best hooker boot outfit. Wait, where's my formal? Let me change it to my formal, please. So I can look nice. So many people I don't know are coming to this party. I'm so excited, though. I'm trying to introduce myself to her, but she's not having it. She's so tired. We have to get a cup of coffee. We have to um, get some type of coffee into her. Will this make stronger special energy four? So no matter, okay, do the energy two. Okay, I want energy four. That looks old and like run down as hell. I'm gonna get this fancy looking one. Um, I'm gonna drink a soy latte, whatever that is. I forgot, we don't have a radio or anything. Let's buy a radio. Cause I think you can have a radio. You just couldn't have a TV and a computer at the same time, but a radio might be nice for a party, a cheap one, a cheap one. I hope nobody thinks like our party's lame. And I hope no one's offended that there's a ghost at our party. That ghost was our friend, kinda. Ooh, I made French toast, put that up. Drinking our chai latte and then we'll have this gift giving party. Oh no, seriously? But what about the gift pal? Oh shit. No, don't ever run to the fire. Don't ever run to the fire. Let's call everyone to the gift pile instead. Let's go out here and, and not worry about the flames. Waffles? Who brought us waffles? Like, I, I don't want to go to where the fire is. I need to get out of there. But, like, who was even cooking what, though? That's the thing. Someone needs to call, like, the fire department. Oh, my goodness. Call firefighter. Okay, firefighters are coming. They'll never get through that door. If we lose any of our co-workers, I'll be so upset. He fainted. You're a vampire. How is this frightening to you? This is going to ruin my Christmas party. Oh, my goodness. Can you please stop it? Run away. I just... Oh, my goodness. Don't you work with us? No. You don't either. Okay, it looks like the people we work with are safe for right now. Although he is passed out in a room that's on fire. So that's not a good thing. Firefighters, thank goodness. You're never going to get in there to save them, unfortunately, though. Like, I'm like, this is just awful. Can't reach the fire. No, but you got to save somebody. Can I go to bed? I feel like Sarita is so tired, and this ruined her party. Sarita, what are you doing in there? Get out, get out, get out. Sarita, you better put out that flame, girl. You better not. Oh, my God, no. Our co-worker, he's passed out and on fire on the floor. No. We worked so hard to be friends. Now he's not friends with us because at our party, he got set on fire. Ain't that something? Wow. I love to see how your friendship works. You, you, you just happened to burst in flames at my party, and now it's my fault. We can't buy a smoke detector. It's, 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 the rule said so. We can't do or go anywhere because we keep running back to the flames. Save our friend, though. Save our friend. Everyone saved. Okay. There we go. Um, way too long. Guests are, got impatient. No one wants to open the gift house now. I'm just going to sell it for $250 then. So our co-worker is mad at us. Can I try texting him? Because I want to be friends. We're teammates. This, like, totes ruined my party. I was so excited. This ruined everything now. And now he's acting like he's not our friend no more. Like, I feel like he's super shallow. Like, I would never stop being somebody's friend just because I got set on fire at their house. It's not like she set him on fire. It was a freak accident. That just happens to freaky people. She's trying to build back up her friendship, but I don't think he's having it. I'm going to send her to bed. That's tragic. I'm glad everyone's, like, listening to the music and trying to have a good time, though. But we did not get to talk to the people we wanted to talk to at this party, though. <sighs> That's unfortunate. Okay, we're friends with him again. We, we text our way back into friendship. Um, everyone wants to stick around, need to go home, take everything, call again, someone peed on themselves. 
That if I if if pissing yourself don't ruin a party, I don't know what do, Luke. That was nasty. Wait. This lady walked up on him like I like when you pee on yourself. It's sexy. Wow. And he pee on himself. Wow, he found love at our party. That's not fair. Yeah, laugh at him for peeing on himself. That's awesome. You know why? Because this jerk walks up on people, scares them for no good reason. I'm happy he peed on himself. That's exactly what he deserves. Wait, this, she's a hoe. She's giving flowers to everybody. Wow, this old hoe flirting with everyone. Dang, yo. When you leave a sim to their own devices, they get into trouble. But they taking up the whole bathroom, though. Everyone's motors are like crap right now. What are they doing? What are they doing? She's like, I don't know what the fuck that was, but that was weird. And I agree, he's about to pee on himself. Vampire, act the, act the vampire to behave. Why? What's she doing? Where even is she? I don't know, but I don't control nobody. My girl's asleep. These girls are wildin'. We'll be back in the morning. Okay, guys, so it's the next morning. We got so many birthdays coming up again. I'm so sick of these birthdays that have nothing to do with our birthday. When's our birthday? We're aging up in three days. She should be able to have a party. Like, if she gets a promotion before her birthday, then she can have a party again. Hopefully, this one won't end with someone setting the house on fire. Because we all saw what happened last time. Okay? She's about to wake up at 8 o'clock, I think. They might wake her up earlier than that, though. Nah, she... Okay, yeah, she's up. Uh, I'm going to send her downstairs. Um, there's, um, French toast. Oh, yeah, I forgot. We never cleaned this stuff after the fire. We're gonna lose money now. Perfect. There we go. Look at all that money we just lost because of another fire. I'm, t I swear, I'm so sick of it. I'm so sick of it. We earned a, uh, $24 for our blog. Oh, my God, Bob. That's so sweet of you, Bob. As we eat these French toast, we're gonna get on our phone... And um, we're going to uh, go to our blog, and we're going to do some stuff on our blog app. We're going to ask people to give more donations. We actually have enough networking skills to do the Sim Finder app. We might be able to find um, like someone to hang out with and date or something. Ugh, the shower's broken. We're going to have to repair it so we can shake a shower then. I, I really don't even want to call repair technicians just because we're losing money left and right. We replaced so much stuff. Ask for donations. Why don't you clean something? There's like three dirty dishes. You're a bitch. You suck. Why aren't they dead yet? Like, I never see them eat. They just stand there. And they're all alive. It sucks. Yeah, let's see if we can fix this thing. Fast forward us trying to fix it and failing. L Chick, we're trying to fix this shower. What are you doing? You ain't sneaking up on me, sir. Uh-uh. I'm trying to fix this shower. Moves too low. Are you kidding? Oh, my God. My moves low because I can't take a shower. And, like, we just had a fire and everything is shit right now. Our whole life is. Oh, shit. We already called. Don't call again. We're going to call two now, so we're going to lose money. Perfect. Um, I guess I'll let her play with her kicky ball. There's no other form of happiness. Kicky ball. Now I gotta wait. Repair person, thank goodness you're here. Oh my god, we gotta get them out the way. They ruin everything. I'm gonna put out some sad waffles. And I'm gonna tell them, like, hey, come to meal. Repair person's. Oh, she's already doing that. Okay. He's cleaning it. Okay. No, that's fine. That's perfect. Just keep fixing it. Don't let them stop you. She's busy fighting with herself. Can I get in there now? Okay, you know what? That's what I need to do. Now is the time to take out the sad waffles and say, hey, everybody come grab these sad waffles so that we can get into the shower. Because that will help our mood if we can get into the shower. Come get the waffles, you guys. I'm just going to move right here. No, I don't want to go to work smelling like poo. Come on, let me take my shower first. Really, you're taking it fine. I'm going to go to work then. I'm going to go. But you suck, and I want you to know that. We uh, prepare for game. Definitely, we need to do that. Because we didn't even get to play in the last game, so I want to play good in the first game we get to go to. 
that's on um Sunday. So hopefully we can get there. Hang with the teammates. Well, we know we got practice for this game today. So we're gonna be practicing for the game at work. Um, hopefully she gets to take a shower there at some point because she's gonna smell and that's gonna bring out her mood. Anyway, we'll be back when she's out. Okay, well she's gonna get out of work in a bit. Um, probably about seven seconds. So we got a party invitation, but I don't think we're gonna be able to go because the party's in like a half an hour and we're exhausted. But we can try. We can try. So it says attend that party. Steve's birthday. I don't care about Steve's birthday. We're supposed to be on our way to a party. Are we going? Okay, we're going. Okay, cool. I guess he's gonna like rub it in our face and be like, see, this is how you throw a party. And we'll be like, I know. I mean, I try to throw a good party, but I, I live in a sale asylum. Cut me a break. I don't care about Steve's birthday. Bye, Steve. Ooh, a deer in the road. Okay. Midlife crisis? You're locked up in a sane asylum. If you haven't already been going through a crisis, I don't know what to tell you. Wait, so is this the party? Trisha's sick. I hope Trisha dies. People there, but they're not welcoming me to the party. Like, you can't forget that you introduced, like, you, you invited me. I got the invitation. I'm not crazy. Like, let me into the party. Oh, right. Door's up. Okay, let's get inside. This kid's playing the guitar. Um, are you gonna make food for the party? Because that would be awesome. Oh, you're gonna drink blood. Dance, I guess, to the music. I would really appreciate it if someone could make a meal. Can I convince him to cook something? I can't convince him to cook anything. Oh, this guy wants to dance with us? Okay. Sharia, do not be weirdo. Do not be rude. If this guy wants to dance with you, dance with him. So what? He's funny looking. Big deal. Yay, we're dancing with somebody. That's cool. We're in a swimsuit. But he's not asking us questions about it and making us feel weird. So, whatever. This is actually, like, really nice. We're dancing. There's no food at this party still. Still no food. Anyway, we can't stay too long. We got to get back. Remember, technically, we're supposed to be home and that's it. But we got a party invitation. It would have been rude to say no. He still wants to dance with us. I'm sorry. This Cinderella is going to have to turn back into a pumpkin now. But thank you for inviting us. But we got to get back home and get something to eat. Like, we're not even close to a promotion for tomorrow. We were just like, are you laughing? Why everyone laughs at us when they see us? It's so mean. Like, what did we ever do to deserve getting laughed at like this? Ah, sigh. Back home. Well, at least we can grab something to eat. More French toast. And we can take a shower. And I feel like stealing the bed from her just because I don't like her. So wake her up. I feel like I'm going to have to like sleep torture her. Like every time she tries to go to bed, I just wake her up just to be mean. And what's tomorrow? Tomorrow we, uh, I don't know why it still says we're rookies if we're level five. Shouldn't we be more than that? Ha, we woke you up. And we want to be mean to her. We're definitely going to be mean to her. I can't wait to be mean to her. My favorite thing in the world is to be mean to her. First, let's take this shower. Let's fast forward to get nice and clean. Might as well go to the bathroom while we're here. Now, everything besides our energy is perfect, but we're gonna like slap her real quick and then we'll go on to bed. Listen, you can't listen to the voices in your head. They tell lies, okay? Lies. Yeah, let's be mean to her. Sla Ooh, that's right, slap her up real good. Now we're going to bed. Yay, we feel good about that. I feel good about it. I do. Uh-uh, you ain't taking the last bed. She's like, why did she hit me? Like, you know why. You know what you did. You took our cookie ball. And now we take the last beds. Sorry. Ooh, very buff man in a towel. Steve. Ooh, my. If I had a twin, I if I had a full-size bed, I'd share it with you. But I can't. Ha, huh, we stole the bed from you. Anyway, our Sam is going to get some lovely sleep tonight, and she isn't. And now he's about to sneak up on her and scare her. I love that they're torturing her. This makes me happy. Okay, we'll be back in the morning. The coach wants Sarita to start drinking a new energy drink that no one has ever heard of before. This got me worried. Because what if like, we drink it and it give us diarrhea and we can't perform? <laughs> Ask on date. We can't go out on a date. We're locked up here. Let's just try and go for it with the heat of the moment kiss. 
Oh, he went for it. He liked it. He liked it. Okay. Even in this insane asylum, she found love. We found 